Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. Um, just had my operation yesterday. Um, I, I'm still not able to move my, my right arm. Uh, they put some numb thing in it, and I'm probably not supposed to be out here, but I got my arm stabilized. It's not moving around anywhere. Um, so I'm not going to try to hurt myself there. But I am going stir crazy already. It's not been 24 hours, for crying out loud, or it's been 24 hours. And I'm just dying sitting in that damn house doing nothing. It's morning. I don't even know what time it is. Probably about 11 o'clock. My wife said, I got to go shopping. Sit down, watch TV. Don't do anything stupid. All right. So I told her, I won't do anything stupid. Didn't say that I wouldn't come out in the garage and just try to figure out something to do. I've never taken one of these apart uh, quite this way. I don't even know how I'm going to take it apart. But I do know that I want to. I'm almost thinking about hitting it with a hammer, pulling it with wire. Oh. So, anyways, one hand. Oh, yeah. Look at that one, babe. Did better than one hand than I do with two. Um, I'm going to take one of these things apart. It's a magnetron from a microwave. Real easy. That is, by the way, a piece of brass. Clean brass. First two things you're always going to get out is a nice, I believe they're called beryllium magnets. I'm not sure. They are pretty strong as far as magnet wise, but they are weak as hell as if you drop that thing from there, it'll probably break into four pieces. So they break easy, but it's still a nice magnet to have around and I have a bunch of them. Oh, everybody noticed my friend, Sculler Metals. He's a friend of mine. He's a friend of mine. Go check him out. Sculler Metals. Good guy. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Everything I'm doing right now is going to be for the first time I ever did it. With uh, one hand. Ooh. All right. So there's a piece of number two copper inside of this thing. It's actually two number two pieces of copper. And uh, these are on microwaves, everybody. So everybody gets or sees a microwave now and again. Magnet second magnet generally a little bit smaller on one end than the other it's amazing that two pieces of magnet will make can make so much power with a few other things that it can cook your food in seconds but you're going to want to take them two pieces and put it in the number two and trust me you start putting wire in into your number two bucket eventually and real quickly actually it's going to start adding up the other day, I was doing a video standing over my bucket, separating another bucket, and uh, I was throwing my number two with my number one, my number one and number two. I did come back in and straighten that all out. That right there, I throw that in my shred. So, yeah, go to a microwave, take the end off of it. There's a little bit of wire in there. Take the wire out, cut it out, put it in a bucket. So everybody, uh, and save it up, everybody seems to think, oh, be careful, this is beryllium or something like that. Magnetrons can be very dangerous. Um, back in the day, the older microwaves, I'm pretty sure they put that, I believe it's called beryllium, on these. You notice these, they're usually purple. Or, let me see if I can find another one. Let me show you. This is uh, not, not normally do I see them just white. Usually there's some type of color coded. There's some purple on it right there on the ends. And everybody's saying that's beryllium. Don't scratch it. Don't break it. Crack it. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, the older microwaves, I guess, did uh, have that. And um, I would not want to crack that piece. Fortunately, I do have a vice. And that's the only reason. I mean, why I truly and honestly, if you don't know. Probably the best thing to do would be to just take a tape, uh, a piece of tape and uh, wrap it around both ends before you even start working with it. So if you're worried about it, just do that. With one hand. I can move my fingers, oh my God, that much. Can't raise my, can't raise my wrist, but I can move them fingers a little bit. Which I pinned you yesterday, but there's no way that I could do this literally with one hand, obviously, unless I had a vice. So if you have a handicap, a good possibility you'll have to get a few other tools to um so you can do this 
And then, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna try to get these fins off. Well, these fins, what am I do with that piece? Oh. Are connected to this big fat piece of copper on the inside here. And I have about 20 of these things. I save them up. My wife's calling me. Let me take a bite. I bet you. I bet you this is something that might could be done with one hand. And it begins where I'm so damn bored in that house. Oop, look at that. I figured I'm going to come out and try it. And make a video. See how stupid I look. See how many people tell me that I should be in the house, like my wife said. I'm glad she didn't ask me, hey, what are you doing? Because then I would have had to tell her, because I wouldn't lie to her. Don't lie to the wife. But then I would just play it off. I would just play it off like, eh, it's no big deal, babe. It's no big deal. Like, again, never done this before. So once we got the truck loaded, it was generally about dark, and that's when we pulled out of the woods. Done. I'll cut the ends off of that right there, both sides. And um, that's a big chunk of copper uh, in the middle. And I've already uh, gave that one piece that I had one already cut. I gave it away. It looks like inside of that, it looks like a maze. Literally looks like a maze, all kind of jig jag. It's pretty cool. I wish I still had that piece that I cut. And anyways, I'd load the truck, and then we'd get finished loading the truck at about dark. Drive back to the house, and then next job was unload the truck. Uh, we had to unload it because Dad needed that truck in the morning to go back to work. So, uh, yeah. And then um, if I didn't have time that night, and I had the time the next day, whenever I had an extra time, my job was to split the wood and stack it in cord stacks. So every stack had to be four by four by eight. So that when somebody called my dad and bought a cord of wood, we knew what the cord was. It wasn't just in a pile, it was in cord stacks. Anyways, I'm not gonna ramble on about that story, but that's what I did five days a week after work. Uh, if we weren't working, them things himself in the woods then we was probably working under a car somewhere um dad was a mechanic yeah, dad was a mechanic backyard mechanic i got a bunch of stories that you guys would just crack up over on my dad but anyways um my wife's probably going to be back home within the next 30 minutes i'm going to go inside get myself some breakfast or brunch and um to chill out the rest of the day. All I knew was, I just felt like I had to do something out here. I wanted to make a video, even though I'm not two-handed. I'll show you right there that a one-hand man can do it. Thanks guys for watching. What's next, what's next, what's next? Scrap my grandpa.